Hey guys, so this is a uh, 0AM DQ200 uh, mechatronics unit out of the 7-speed uh, dry clutch DSG uh, transverse gearbox and it had a P17BF fault code stored for pump play protection and we're just going to basically have a look at the unit and see uh, where the issue lies um, some of you may know about this already but I just thought I'd share a video on this where the issue lies, what we're planning on attempting just learning a bit more about these units basically now this unit that's been replaced um, I've decided to take the unit apart as we had a massive dent in the front cover which I'll grab just now and show so the front cover as you can see it's quite distorted and that's where we lost our pressure well that's where we had an external leak um, and why this unit was replaced so I decided I would remove the uh, cover from the mechatronics this cover in itself it just undid all these bolts that hold it on once the unit was replaced because this was just going to be going in the bin but as you've seen in previous um, videos of mine I do like to take things apart and just see what the cause of failure is um, and as we can see this is a threaded section here so these are threads you can hear my finger now just clicking along there is a section of thread missing here and that is what goes in there basically now this is quite a common issue with these uh, gearbox mechatronics units um, so when they come with these uh, pump play protection codes they um, basically this is the pump motor here um, and they've they've blown they've blown the accumulator out and the reason they've blown out is just because of the I can only assume it's poor casting because it is looks like a cast finish looks like an aero chocolate bar basically it's um it's just not strong enough for the pressure I think there's something like I, I can't remember what the pressure is that's in here but it's either 20 or it could be 40 bar or something that's in that accumulator. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up and, uh, and confirm. But it's, it's a great amount of a pressure. This is the accumulator. As you can see, that screws into there. And that's what bl that blows out. And that's what puts a massive dent in the, in the housing. And now as soon as that blows out, you lose all of your pressure that was um, that was inside the accumulator so it just dumps all that pressure basically and then you get it all shoot out the side of the gearbox because it's uh, an external leak um, and if it doesn't blow that cover if it just because even when that cover's blown out the unit is it's still kind of held in because you've got probably 50% of its thread still left so it, it pops out you know 10 mil or something saying and then it just gets jammed in place mm -hmm. So this pops over to one side, the accumulator comes out a bit, blows that cover. I've seen them also where they don't blow the cover. Um, and you start seeing uh, the oil coming out of this breather here. So as you can imagine, if it's cracked just below here, it's going to push this pressure that's coming out of here straight out of it. And the pump's electric, so the pump's going to run no matter what. If, um, if it's trying to build pressure, so it's that's why you get the play protection codes because this thing's almost in, probably in an overheat state and it's just protecting itself. So um, it would almost be like as if it tried to run itself with no fluid inside the inside the unit itself. If there was no fluid in there, you know, not because of say this pressure loss, but because it's empty, it's just going to try and protect the pump instead of uh, sorry the motor or the pump to so stop it burning out. But um, yeah, if there's a crack. If it cracks further along, say, which it may well do, this is the first one I've taken apart, I can see why, uh, and if there's, it's able to maintain a level of pressure, it's going to leak out as the pump's still trying to build it out the top. So it's coming out of this um, out of this breather. And I've actually made a video before where I just observed one that was leaking out of here. You could just either see smoke coming out, or you see oil coming over into the ribs at the top of the mechatronics unit, and the car won't drive and has the same... Uh, P codes of uh, pump play protection. Uh, so yeah, uh, this unit is uh, is stuffed basically. So there is guys I've seen. I believe they maybe they're in Russia or I'm not sure where they are. Maybe Eastern Europe or 
I'm really not sure where that the company is based, but um, I believe you can buy some form of replacement that uses these bolts or something, and maybe you have to drill a hole to, to mount it. Um, and it basically uses a another accumulator, um, and instead of you know having to replace this this whole aluminium section, it uses a smaller thread. So the accumulator body will be the same size, but the the thread will be slightly smaller. And you just screw in a, a cup that goes in here with a, a smaller thread boss, and you can then screw in this, uh, you know, s smaller uh, diameter accumulator basically that goes in there, and you repair repair the unit, and it just uses these as its as its mounting points. And like I say, I think you have to drill a hole or something. It's something I'm interested in doing, just to, just for my own research and seeing if it is something that is more of a um, effective or cost-effective repair because. The cars that these are fitted in are all the low, lower end vehicles, you know, your, your Polos, your Golfs and A3s, Caddies, etc. You know, they're, they're all coming along the lines where they're coming up to 10 years old now, some of them, and they're, um, they're going to the scrapyard because, uh, you know, it's too expensive to, to chuck one of these units in. Like, we're in Australia, these things are about three grand or something to put in, one of, in a car, so I think it's something like that. So it's, um, you know, there might be need for say a more cost effective repair whether you know whether it's uh, whether it is cost effective the labor involved like i say i haven't done this yet this cover does come off easily i'm not sure if you can do this in the car with regards to the actual repair i would imagine you can get all the cover off in the car and probably the accumulator out um but whether you can do the repair in the car and i don't know if you have to dis disassemble the unit say because this unit inside of here is separate to the actual aluminium casing so that's something else that we would have to take into account but yeah this is something I'm definitely interested in doing um, so if anyone's interested I will buy the kit and do a repair on this unit and I'll see if I can install it in a car and see if I can test it